How did we meet? Well, I started working in Lincoln right after college, and I went to Pinnacle Bank to open an account, and I would go there every week, and she was a teller, and I thought, originally, you know, she's pretty cute. And I was going through the drive through and everything, and I thought every time I drive through, I wanted to talk to her, hoping she would come to the window. And after a while, I'd kept driving through, and I'd go back to my house and talk to my roommate and tell her, tell him that I think, thought I like this girl. I want to get her number. I want to meet her. And so then, after about I don't know a couple of weeks, I started going into the bank and opening up new accounts. I think I opened up like three accounts just to try to get to her alone and talk to her. The story of how we met. Um, it was when I was living in Lincoln and working at Pinnacle Bank. I had been at that branch for as long as when he first opened his account there. And I didn't really notice him until six months after he started coming in. And then he slowly went from going into the drive through to coming into the bank. And then he opened up, I want to say, three savings accounts just so he could have me do it, but unfortunately every time he came in to open an account, it wasn't me who was able to help him. So, we met at the bank. <laughs> My first impression was she had a really nice smile. My initial impression of him was that he seemed really sweet and I really liked his smile. He was, he just seemed really different, like more quiet, but there was just something about him, the smile and the way he looked at me that caught me. Our first kiss was after our first date, actually, right away. And I just kind of went for it. I didn't, didn't really ask her, I just, we were, went putt-putt golfing and we came back, I was gonna drop her off. And she, we were just sitting there talking, it was kind of awkward for a minute, and I just leaned over and just kissed her. It was just natural from there. We had went to out to eat, and then when he dropped me off at my apartment, he tried to come inside to watch a movie, but I told him that we just need to cut it short and leave it at that. And I said, actually, you look like you really want to kiss me right now. And he said, I do, and he leaned over, and then I kind of pushed him back, and I went back into my apartment. <laughs> when I knew she was the one, was. After our first date, it was great. I mean, I loved every minute of it, and everything seemed to go smooth, and... I guess then... Coming home, or I took her home to meet my parents for the first time, and on the way there, I just told her that I was, I was gonna marry her that day. And I wanted to ever since I met her, really. I just, I could never stop thinking about her, and just knew she was the one that I've been looking for my whole life. I knew that I was in love with Jacob probably two weeks after we had started seeing each other just because it was so easy to talk to him and he was always there for me, listened to me about anything and he, was, he just cared. He cared a lot and he actually had told me without um, even meaning to that he loved me one night so that was also kind of what I knew. <laughs> As our wedding day nears, I'm very excited to spend the rest of my life with her. She's amazing. I couldn't picture my life any other way without her. What person I am extremely excited, but very nervous at the same time, because there just comes a lot with a wedding. But I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with him, and I'm extremely ready for what the future holds. A funny story I want to tell about her is when we first moved into our house, we had a little bit of a mouse problem. And it was about, I don't know, it was probably a month after we moved into our house. And she got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, in our upstairs bathroom. And I was, of course, I was sound asleep. I didn't hear her wake up. And she is in the bathroom and all of a sudden I just hear these screaming and she's I hear this big boom and she's screaming and she 
<laughs> comes running back into the bedroom and I jumped up right away. I thought she would just seen a ghost. She was acting like, so I was freaking out at the at first and she says, I just seen a mouse and it ran over my foot while I was going to the bathroom. It was, it was hilarious. A funny story about him would be, I think it was two years ago, we were leaving the Eric Church concert at the arena when we were walking out, obviously we had had a couple to drink, and he, I look over, and he slipped on beer and literally fell <laughs> on his back. And it, it's just like I looked over, and the next thing I knew, he was gone. And what are you excited most about the wedding day? I'm excited to be your husband <laughs> and take care of you for the rest of our lives. I'm excited to see you walk down the aisle. I hope, I hope that you start crying or you show tears because I feel like you're really emotional but you don't show it I'm all the time, time in front of people but you show in front of me. I won't cry. You might Maybe though. a little bit. Just a little. Not a lot. It could happen. I hope. I'll be happy. Very. I'm very excited. Me too. Me too. I would like to say thank you to all of our family and friends. Um, it's been not as stressful as some people say that it is, but it has been hard. But we have had an amazing support system out of everything that we've been through. And you guys make this day even more amazing than it already is. Yeah, I want to say thank you for everybody helping out as much as you have. And I know she's taken care of a lot of things. and She took care of a lot of things really early, and which was amazing. So we didn't have to worry about so much when we had Luke to worry about all the time. And... I want to say I'm excited to have this whole new side of the family to me. Ditto. Yeah. Yay. <laughs>